Hello. In this video, we're going to show you how to add full text search to a Quarkus application, thanks to the power of High Minute Search and Elasticsearch, recently added in Red Hat build of Quarkus 2.7. For the purpose of this demonstration, we've developed a small application to manage a product catalog at a fictional company called Acme. The application relies on Hymenet ORM with Panache to implement simple create, retrieve, update, delete, or CRUD features. We won't cover how to create a Quarkus application using Hymenet ORM with Panache here, but you can find more information in the Quarkus guides at quarkus.io. What you can see here is the list of products. Each product belongs to a department, has a name and a description and it comes in multiple variants, each with its own name and price. The application does already offer search capabilities. For example, we can search for Android and get all products that include this string. Then we can filter by department to only show books. However, the text search is based on standard SQL only which means it's simply substring search, which is quite limited. Sometimes substring search yields irrelevant products. For example, if we search for duct tape, we get a book about alien abductions in the results, even though it's not really what we're looking for. That's because duct is a substring of abduction. Substring search may also omit relevant products. For example, if I search for abducted, the book we saw just before doesn't show up. That's because abducted is not a substring of abduction and our search isn't able to handle that kind of fine detail. Fortunately, Quarkus offers an extension meant to address precisely these limitations by providing an integration with High Minute Search and Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch is a distributed RESTful search engine. It is quite popular and addresses a large number of search use cases with impressive performance. In our case, we will be running Elasticsearch in a container. Hibernate Search is a library that plugs into Hibernate ORM to listen to up entity updates events so it can automatically index entities as Elasticsearch documents. Hibernate Search also offers many tools beyond this core feature, from managing the Elasticsearch schema to re indexing a whole database to performing Elasticsearch queries through a dedicated Java API. We can add High minute search to a Quarkus application through a simple Maven command. Now that the extension was added to our Maven palm, we can start configuring High minute search. And in fact, this will be quite short. I mean, search just needs to know which version of Elasticsearch is going to work with. Note that you can also configure I mean, search to target a specific version of OpenSearch, a fork of Elasticsearch. See the I mean, search guide in the Quarkus documentation for more information. This configuration is enough for I mean, search to start, but it won't do anything until we mapped our entities to an index. Similarly to JPA mapping, we, this is done through annotations on the entity model. First, we add an index annotation on our product entity. This will let Harman Search know that this entity needs to be indexed into Elasticsearch. Next, we annotate each field that needs to be included in the Elasticsearch document. There are many available annotations. We'll go through the more important ones here. Name and description will be full text fields. We need to search for words in these text fields. 
We'd also need to sort our search results on the name field, but text fields cannot be sorted on reliably due to how they are indexed in Elasticsearch. So we'll add another annotation on the name, this time for keyword field. We'll give that field a different name to avoid any conflict with the full text field. And we'll mark the field as sortable. Next, the department. That's an enum. And the UI allows filtering through a select box instead of text input. So we'll simply make the department a keyword field. Now the variants. Obviously, there are multiple variants per product. Each variant is itself an entity with multiple fields. We want to be able to search on a variant name so we will add a full text field here. However, this annotation was added, added to a separate entity. In order to get product variants embedded into a product index, we'll add the uh, indexed embedded annotation on the variants list. Then every time Hamon Search will build a, an Elasticsearch document for a product, that document will include a variance field with an array of objects representing the variance, each with a variant name in particular. Now, Hamon Search has all the information it needs to perform indexing. Let's have a look at our REST endpoint. We don't have to alter the create, update, and delete methods because Hyman Search will automatically trigger reindexing when necessary based on our entity changes in Hyman ORM. It's all implicit. The search method has to change, however. It currently performs the search using Hyman ORM with Panache. We'll replace that with Hyman Search. First, we'll inject the search session, which is the entry point to search operations, similar to Hymenet ORM's session or JPA's entity manager. Then we'll go and implement the search method. We start a search on the product entity, expecting the, to get product instances as a result. Then we define a where clause with a lambda. Here, the top level predicate will be a Boolean predicate, which is a way to combine multiple other predicates. Think and or operators, but more powerful. When no search criteria are set, we want our product list to show all products. So we add a match all predicate. Otherwise, the Boolean predicate without any close would return no results. Then if the user enters text, we use a simple query string predicate to implement full text search. We just have to specify the Elasticsearch fields we want to search on. The simple query string syntax provides users with multiple operators. More on that in the reference documentation. We'll make sure to use end as the default operator so that the query will match all provided terms in the input text by default instead of at least one. This generally feels more natural. Then we'll implement the department filter using a simple match predicate. We will then sort search results by product name. This is where the sortable keyword field we added earlier comes into play. And finally, we'll fetch 
the requested page of search results. The remainder of this implementation is not really relevant as it deals with mapping results to a data transfer object or DTO suitable for JSON serialization. Next, we will handle initialization. Hibernate search will automatically create the Elasticsearch indexes and their mapping on startup and or validate them if they already exist. But in dev mode, it's more convenient to just drop and recreate indexes on each restart to keep up with the changes in the code. So we'll tell Hibernate search to do just that. Also, our demonstration database comes pre-populated with a test data set. So we need to re-index all that pre-existing data. We add another Hamlet search entry point, this time one that doesn't rely on a particular session. For convenience, we read index on each application startup. Obviously, in a real world application, we would only need to fully re index very rarely, basically when the application is first deployed, and in some cases when we change the Elasticsearch schema. But in development mode, it's more convenient to re index on each restart. And we're done. Now, let's start our application and have a look. Progress is starting containers for PostgreSQL. And here we are. Our user interface is exactly the same but it's now backed by Hibernate Search and Elasticsearch, which means we can benefit from its performance, scalability, and perhaps more importantly, its features. The data gets synchronized with Elasticsearch automatically. For example, let's change the name of a variant on our power drill. We'll add a UK power adapter to this variant. The name of the variant was updated in database, but also in Elasticsearch without us having to do anything. For proof, if we search for power adapter, then the results returned by Elasticsearch to our application will indeed include our modified product. Now back to the product we were to the problem we are having with substring search. If we search for duct tape again we get the result we want and not only that one the book about alien abduction no longer matches because elasticsearch works on words not on substrings we didn't solve the problem we had when searching for abducted however we still don't get a match on a product whose description contains the word abduction However, now that we are using Elasticsearch, this can get solved very easily. We said earlier that Elasticsearch was working with words instead of substrings. Those words are called tokens, and the process of turning a string into a sequence of normalized tokens is called text analysis. The real power of Elasticsearch is that, is that we can customize text analysis. There are plenty of analysis components to choose from, each with its own particular behavior. In Hibernate Search, an configuring analysis requires implementing a custom analysis configurer. The configurer extends an interface specific to Hyman search. Since our problem has to do with word radicals, we will define a token filter 
to remove meaningless radicals, such as ED in abducted or ION in abduction. We only need to pick the existing filter called stemmer, configure it for our language, and name this configuration. Then we'll make sure to use that component in the default analyzer along with other components. A standard tokenizer, because we don't need anything fancy when splitting text into words. And finally, filters to turn the token into lowercase, remove radicals, and turn characters into ASCII. Then we need to tell Hyman Search to use this configurer. There are multiple ways to do that, but we will simply make the configurer a named CDI bean. And then we reference that bean from the configuration properties. Now, Let's get back to our application and search for abducted again. That's it. We solved our problem. And more importantly, we are now in a position to tune our text search much more finely, as well as add more features to the, around that search. For example, Here's another version of the application where we added facetting. We won't have time to go into the details of the implementation, but as you can see, the panel on the left now displays facets with a number of matching products in each department and price range. The numbers get gets updated when users add more search criteria. And users can now click these facets to drill down into search results. That's it for now. Elasticsearch offers many features, and having a search exposes the most important ones through very simple Java APIs. Be sure to have a look at the extensive reference documentation to make the most of it. We have also added the GitHub link to this demo. Try it out.